the ultimate resources are emotional states. If you're creative enough, can you find the answer? Yes or no? If you're determined enough, can you find the breakthrough? Yes or no? If you're passionate, loving enough, can you get someone to help you? Yes or no? If there's no way that you're committed, can you find the money even if you don't have it? Yes or no? So I said creativity, decisiveness, passion, honesty, sincerity, love. These are the ultimate human resources. And when you engage these resources, you can get any other resource on earth. And I said, so you told me all the resources you're missing and you hypnotize yourself into believing that you don't have what you want because you don't have the resources. When the most successful people in history had no resources, but they were incredibly resourceful, so they got the resources. Resourcefulness is the ultimate resource. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. But most of us give ourselves a way out and that's why we don't have a way out. If you cannot find meaning in your life, it is your responsibility as a human being to create it whether that is fulfilling dreams or finding work that gives you purpose and self -worth. You have to have something that separates you from everybody else on earth and until you find out that something, you will be stressed and you will be struggling. But everybody has it or anybody can create it. Understand, people will constantly attack you in life. One of their main weapons will be to instill in you doubts about yourself your worth, your abilities, your potential. They will often disguise this as their objective opinion, but invariably it has a political purpose. They want to keep you down. You are continually prone to believe these opinions, particularly if your self-image is fragile. In every moment of life, you can defy and deny people this power. You do so by maintaining a sense of purpose, a high destiny you are fulfilling. From such a position, people's attacks do not harm you. They only make you angry and more determined. The higher you raise the self-image, the fewer judgments and manipulations you will tolerate. This will translate into fewer obstacles in your path. So you've got to find a story that's going to empower you to act. A story that's going to get you to find the breakthrough. Because otherwise, with a lousy story, you'll never find the strategy or you'll come up with a reason why it's too expensive, you can't get there, you can't access it, or you'll even get the strategy and then half ass apply it just so you can reward your story that says it doesn't work because I tried it. Somebody says, well then, how will my life ever change? Answer, when you change. When you change, when you get better, it'll get better. If you change, it'll all change.